Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Shulay, nice to meet you. So we all know the phenomenon of TikTok. I was an avid hater of TikTok and avid against TikTok, but over quarantine, I have grown to love it. It was my lord and savior during quarantine. Constant entertainment, constant. I personally, I love funny videos, just, I don't know, just TikTok is super entertaining. But one thing dangerous about TikTok is that there's so many products on there that it makes you want to buy everything. And that's what I have done. I'm the type of person, I'm like, if I see a product, and it's like, oh my God, this is the best Jordan I've ever had. It's in my car on Amazon and it's on my way to my house with my serious shopping problem. It is not okay. So I thought I'd share everything that I've gotten from TikTok. I have a list right here on my phone. Most of them I've got on Amazon. Some of them I've literally run to Target because of just because I've heard of this product. There's probably some products I'm actually missing out on, not gonna lie. I think I've just bought in so many that I forget what I bought. So if you guys want a part two, because I'm also sure that up to this point, the last product I bought on TikTok is not gonna be the last product I ever buy from TikTok, if that makes sense. So I'm going to tell you guys everything that I have bought. And before I do that, in the comments down below, comment down your favorite product you've ever bought in from TikTok, whether it's a clothing brand you discovered or just a product you use every single day. So the first thing is blue light glasses. So especially over quarantine and just in life in general, I use my laptop a lot or watch my phone. I had a lot of struggles at the beginning of quarantine falling asleep because I would stay up to X amount of hours in the night watching TV. Obviously, one reason is that the blue light from your phone so I bought a pair of blue light glasses I love them I saw them I was like I need that so I don't use them as much as I do because a lot of things I buy I use them a lot when I first get them and then I never use them again we love that for me. For the most part, these are super helpful. I believe the pack I got were a two pack and they were fairly cheap, they were from Amazon. The next thing is a scalp brush. So I have, I wouldn't say like a super dry scalp, but my scalp gets very like um, clogged, if that makes sense. That's not probably not the right word, but you know what I mean. So I found the scalp brush on TikTok. So I bought one, I use it pretty much every single time I wash my hair. I just forget sometimes, but it is a life changer. If you like those massages at the hair salon, this is a great product, it's just, I feel like it really like gets in there and going along with the scalp brush it is this the scalp wash scrub thing that I found on TikTok if you can get it at Target it is by her Taraji P Henson's hairline and I've used it a lot don't get it in your eye because it really hurts but I saw it on TikTok and it honestly has helped my scalp a lot I forget to use it most of the time but when I do my hair feels incredibly soft and just my scalp feels like so like clean and refreshed so it is a 10 out of 10 great product next are the infant is cat eye glasses so they're not super cat eye but the ones that kind of look like Celine I have them in black and I think in, I have them in Taurus too they come in two packs and they're not just come in black and the Taurus they come in many other shades so there's a variety on Amazon and you can you I feel like they sell them everywhere but they're really cheap on Amazon especially for a two pack and I use them all the time I wear school well, ever since Corona started I wear sunglasses less because you know when you put your mask on like the fog just goes up I don't know if that's gross but it happens to me so I don't wear sunglasses as much as I usually do but when I do wear them I wear those a lot the famous Amazon gold hoops I feel like they're from this brand Pavoli I feel like that's how it's pronounced or that's what it's called but they're like the basic ones that went viral on TikTok I bought a pair I love them these are not it they're a little bit bigger than this but I feel like they're a good hoop whether to go out to a bar like to a restaurant in or just to doll yourself up a little bit to elevate a look accessories can really do that and these hoops are nonetheless and they're very well priced next is a fabric shaver I can't tell you how many pairs of my pants have like so many of those little lint brush thingies I have a little bit of thicker thighs so my thighs rub sometimes and a lot of my pants have that rubbing effect and just the fabric in general and that shaver just goes whoop, just takes it all off it is a game changer and then kind of going along with the razor thing the face razors something called dermablading which that's very expensive to do or to buy for yourself you can get these packs on Amazon or I think you can get them at Target as well and they're like little face shavers for all the peach fuzz you have I have PCOS so sometimes I grow more hair on like my face or like here than I would like to it really helps to just get it right off and they're disposable I know disposable razors saw a video yesterday that they're not the best but the product is very well they even have reusable ones like not reusable like chargeable one not chargeable like battery operated ones as well if you want to go the more sustainable way the crossbody bag from Amazon I don't think this went as viral as most of these things on this list however I personally really like it so the product 
Prada bag went viral. Like everyone loved it. But I haven't got a budget for Prada. So I found this one on TikTok and it's an, from Amazon. And it's black. It comes with the strap, a little thing for here, a little crossbody, two little bags. And you can turn it into many versions of the purse. Just have one little bag on there or turn it into a shoulder bag or whatever. It's very useful and I feel like you can turn it from day to night. I've used it for both and I really like it. Next is car putty and it's pretty much like it gets like all in the crevices of your car and also my laptop gets so much things in like the little crack. I've used it for that too. It works everywhere and makes you feel so clean. A hint I would do is I've seen a lot of people just use the whole ball but it feels like it just gets very dirty so I personally I rip it into pieces so I can have more uses out of it. Next are also sunglasses but like the little rectangle ones. I love them. I have not the smallest face so I've always been scared of little sunglasses but these sunglasses I feel like are flattering on everyone. Don't put them up to here, put them up to your nose. They elevate every fashion look. Next is the hairbrush. So it's pretty much it's for like wet and dry hair. I have not a lot of hair falls out of the shower but I'm very sensitive when it comes to hairbrushes. My hair gets very knotty so I need something that's rough enough that'll take off all the knots but won't rip out my hair and I feel like this brush has done a very good job. And then going along with brushes, the Revlon airbrush. Let me tell you, I've wanted this for a while, but I'm like, do I really need it? I got it for Christmas. It makes you feel like you have a salon blowout. And a little bit of a tip, my hair takes forever, forever to dry. So I rough dry it a little bit and then I actually go in with the Revlon thing. I feel like that just makes it go faster, but it makes you feel like you have like a little salon blowout. And also you don't have to style your hair unless you want to curl it or just do whatever, but it's already styled and your hair looks fabulous. So the next is an LED light bulb. I have the LED strips in my living room around my apartment and we use those all the time but something that I discovered on TikTok was the LED light bulbs. I have one in my room. I don't use it as often as I should but I have it in there. I actually want to put some here because the lighting in my room is atrocious so I feel like with some cool LED light bulbs that change colors. I have one here and it changes from like red to purple whatever color you want and I feel like when I actually do turn it on and I use it it just it just sets the vibe you know what I mean? So this sugar scrub I believe it's from the brand Tree Hut. I believe that's what it is. They have lots of different flavors. I have the tropical mango one. It smells really good and it just goes on the skin so easily and I feel like a little bit of product goes a long way. Like I'll still be scrubbing there and like the little bead things like don't take a while to kind of go down but I can feel them like really getting in there and just again like a little goes a long way. Okay next is the foot peels. I've done a foot peel before but I did the one like they sell for like 25 bucks at Target and it's a little bit pricier in my opinion just for one mask. This one that I bought I saw on TikTok and it comes with a multi-pack. I didn't even know they sold more than like one pack. So if, if I'm making sense, I don't know. A full peel is great. So next we're gonna go for a little bit into something that's like a little bit weird. So pheromone oil. I just wanted to try it. So if you don't know what pheromones are, pheromones attract the opposite gender if you're a girl if you know what I mean so I just wanted to try it out to put on your neck they saw a roller one and like the essential oil one I have that one I don't know if it's a hoax or not but that is also something I bought on TikTok I saw it and I was like I want to try that out and see if it works I just got it for pure science reasons do I believe it worked not 100% sure am I still gonna wear it yes moving on this conversation is making me uncomfortable black seed oil I feel like this went viral so you take like two of them a day and it pretty much I believe like flushes out all your toxin it seems to be working for me i have no complaints about it and going along with that it's the tejocote pill so i saw this on one girl's thing i don't know if the video is still there because she said she was going to delete it after 24 hours but it's these little like mexican pills that i don't know what they're made from pretty much you take like one a day and it's supposed to like flush out your system as well next is the miney patch so i feel like everyone and their mother has heard of this i actually have like a bump on my eyebrow now and i used it last night and it's pretty much like gone i have to do it again but it gets all like the gum out of it and for pimple I usually like popping my pimples or I was don't scream at me the Mara Badesco drying lotion sometimes I still use it because I have it but I try to get away from it and use more of the Miney patches you can get them at Target you can get them on Amazon just plop it on and then your pimple will probably be gone from overnight and you can see all the gunk that was pulled out next is the La Porsche cleanser so I feel like skincare by Hiram went viral this summer and he recommended a lot of great products and I don't know 100% if he recommended this one but I 
I saw it as another really, because the CeraVe one went really viral. And also the La Porsche, I don't know how to pronounce it, went really viral. And I bought it and I use it pretty much every single day. And I really like it. Um, I use the hydrating one, especially because it's winter. No complaints about it. I like it. The next is a face, a face slimming, a face slimming strap. You look stupid doing it. Like I'm not going to be lie. You look stupid doing it. I did this morning. And I felt stupid looking at myself in the mirror. But pretty much it's like a strap that like lifts your face up. I don't do it like that often because I'm a little bit scared. But I have a little bit of a double chin. And sometimes even when I'm losing weight, I have struggles losing it. So just something to like shape it a little bit. And I don't know if it 100% works, not going to lie. But do I still do it? Absolutely. Next are those leggings that make your butt look really good. I bought them. Okay, I have a little bit of complaints about them. If you buy them, don't put them in with clothes that take dye very easily because they ruin some of my favorite clothes but besides that point I feel like they did kind of make a difference. They're really comfortable. It feels like nothing's really on your legs. I just think they're good leggings in general, personally. Next is the skylight. So I got the skylight for Christmas and I absolutely love it. It's just, it's just a vibe. You know what I mean? It's just a vibe. Next is a carpool karaoke mic. So I also got this for Christmas. I love it. So it made the road trip so much more fun. Next are Truly products. So I got this for Christmas as well. And it's pretty much, it came with like a, like a set, like the, the ones that went really viral on TikTok, like the butt one and and the boob one and then it also came with the serum they're pretty good products they smell really good i've only been using them for a little bit so i don't want to like say exactly the results i want to use it a little bit more before i actually be like this is a good product next is the mermaid waivers i really wanted to try it and when i did it makes your hair i have naturally like this is my natural hair so it's naturally like a little bit wavy but i wouldn't say curly just having it like made me feel like i have naturally like not curly curly but like wavy curly hair i don't know it just it gives like a different vibe and a different look i want to experiment with it more i want to try different hairstyles different things with it but i really like it next is the maybelline lip gloss the one that kind of looks like the kkw one it's a really good lip gloss i personally don't like wearing lip glosses all the time especially colored ones because it just my hair gets in the way and it gets all over my face but the one that i bought it's in the shade stone i believe and it gives like a nice color and for me to say that about a colored lip gloss it's a pretty big deal because i don't again i don't usually gravitate towards those but i really like the product next is an ear wax remover camera thing you're into like dr pimple popper and ear waxing lift it up so it's pretty much like it has a camera in it and you put it in your ear you can find all there and you can also get the gunk out and you don't have to go to the doctor next is a muscle simulator so i feel like noah beck loki people are making fun of him because he got this but i haven't tried it yet but i bought it i'll probably try it tonight and let you guys know how it is in like a later vlog but it's pretty much like you can put on your abs and it kind of works them out for you simulate your muscles it probably obviously won't make you lose like 20 pounds but just to work them out a little bit more if you don't have time to go to the gym this is not something to like rely on i feel because you should work out and eat healthy and all that but it is something good to have and i'll let you know how it goes when i try it next is the elf camel concealer so i was a tart shape tape gal i love it and i go through concealer like this so this one that is also super cheap and really covering like i don't have to sometimes if i'm really sleepy then I have to put like two little layers. I feel like it covers a lot. The applicator is really nice and it's just an all around really good product. Also, the Elf Poreless Putty. I personally like it. I feel like I haven't tried the Tatcha one, but I feel like it would be a good dupe. It fills in all your pores. It's great for people that have normal skin. It might not be the best for dry skin. It's a little bit hydrating, but for like normal to oily skin, I feel like it just fills in all the pores. Also, another makeup product that I bought was the, the Makeup Revolution Blur Stick. This blurs your skin like crazy like you can wear no makeup and then just put it on i personally like to put setting powder on after it because that if not i feel kind of sticky and i don't like to feel like that i like to feel matte and like i have nothing on my face it's a really nice product the essence mascara so that's the mascara i'm wearing on right now it's a really good mascara and really affordable i was always the type of person that bought like better than sex mascara or like high-end mascaras however i don't think i'm gonna do that anymore because they're expensive and you can get the same thing for cheaper the arc whitening pen so i took forever to find this it like it took me forever to find it and i finally found it randomly in the store it's just like a little and you're good to go your teeth are white great product probably why i went viral on tiktok because it's a great product and the last thing is a hair finishing stick i actually got in the mail today i will try it and let you guys know how i like it but pretty much i have so many flyaways and then just to get them down you just 
much. I still want to include it because I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. So I don't feel bad recommending it. I'm excited to try it. So maybe, should I just try right now? I don't know. I don't feel like getting it. That is pretty much everything I bought from TikTok. I feel like there's a couple things that I'm just forgetting that I bought. And it's probably, again, not going to be the last time that I buy things from TikTok. I see it on TikTok and I go straight to Amazon and add to cart. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, leave a comment down below what either your favorite product in this video is that you've tried from TikTok or just the favorite thing you've tried from TikTok in general. And if you leave a recommendation, I'll probably buy it because I have no self-control. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn the post notifications, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!